G'day guys, I'm back in the mountains again with my mate and his side-by-side -side Polaris buggy. There's plenty of pigs to shoot, there's quite a few deer, let's see how we go. This afternoon we're just going to cruise around in the buggy, see if we can find some pigs and deer in the daylight. The grass is really long, there's some big hills up in here, but it's really good country. We're just cruising along this little valley. We thought, geez, the bloody grass is long. How are we gonna see any pigs in here? And we've just had some get right up under the front of the machine. No hope of seeing them, about a dozen, just in a little line in the grass. A couple of seconds of visibility. We were hoping that they would've went up one of the sides of the valley and we might've got an opportunity, but no hope in here. This plains grass is about eight to 10 feet long. It's insane. came past this tree here and it's covered in pig rubs. They've gone right round it. A bit of a wallow down in here. They've had a great old time on that one. We've just pulled up in this spot to have a bit of a glass. It's quite a good view. We've just spotted some pigs over on this hillside and a couple of deer. Problem we've got is how we get to them, but hopefully we can figure something out. We've just got round to the head of this valley. We can't pick those pigs up. There's a couple of deer though at a fair bit of range out there, whether we can get in a little bit closer to them. That was a failed operation. I've walked in due to the terrain. I was only about 100 metres from them. I couldn't see them at all. The tussock up in here is really thick. It's hard to see them. When they did run off, all I could see was their ears. Sun's starting to go down now. There's a few animals coming out. Problem is we can't get there. So there's a pig on that clearing over there. And there's a couple of deer on this clearing down here. Just come round the corner and spotted some pigs down here on our side of the hill within view. About there they are. Well that didn't particularly work out for me. As you'll see in the footage those pigs were really close. They came out about 20 metres from us. We did have a good angle and then they went behind the grass and started to chase each other. They popped out really close. My mate managed to get one, but we've just seen more down in the valley floor. I'm gonna head down there. He's gonna come around on the buggy and hopefully get in there to pick me up in about an hour. Center frame down there, the big dam. That's my target. All this grassland down here has got pigs all through it. The problem is if I drop the camera down to eye level, I'm in all this seed grass. Now I'm just under six feet tall and this grass is probably a foot, some spots two over my head. I'm a little bit spoilt for choice out on this face. I've got pigs and deer. What will I decide to shoot first? Let's find out. Out on that face there, I've made it into our dam. I've just shot a pig, I think it was 335, then swung down to a deer at 185 or 87, and then another mob of pigs came out of the grass to the right, and I pegged one at about 265. So uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Beautiful little fellow spiker. Hopefully my mate can get the buggy in here. We'll take as much meat as we can. The plan is to get a heap of venison tonight. My mate's keen for some, so am I. The feral pigs though, they're just carry on. We're here contract shooting. We're not paid to bother with those ones. So they just get left where they lay. The PAR digital scope, I've swapped that out for my Thermion, which is a thermal. 
We've got a whole heap of stubble down underneath us. So I think it's only canola. There's no wheat harvested up here yet. We're going to try and stay out of these grasslands tonight. We've had a hell of a time navigating this stuff through the daytime. It's going to be even worse once it gets dark. So plan is to try and stick in the open. We don't have a huge amount of country, but there should be a few pigs out on there. What have we got out here? There's a pig there. His other mate's a little white dot there. Yeah. There's one just there. Edge of that gully. And then there's two just walking down a bit further for us. Right, eh? And there's another one up there. All singles. Plenty of customers. Hey. This was one dumb pig. So I walked out in the paddock chasing a different animal. It smelt me, unfortunately. Took off. I've gone to walk back to my mate. He's on his thermal scanner in the side by side and he spotted this guy coming straight towards me. The only problem was the pig was directly between myself and where he was in the buggy. So no safe shot. I had to wait about five minutes for it to clear him, and get a safe angle. I've clocked him up the back of the ear with a subsonic. The reason I'm in red mode is I've got another two pigs about 250 metres in the next paddock over. They haven't got a clue. Let's go and try and get those. what we want to see out there. Decent sized bull. What's that? 230 metres. It should be able to get over there all right. You'd think this wind is absolutely glued to my ass. Jeez, I'm having some trouble with it. Anyway, the pig did smell me. I managed to get it on the deck after it tried to make an escape and then pivoted back and I've put another two deer on the deck. Some more venison. Nice clean headshots. Couple of little freezer fillers here. We'll get to work on them. And we'll keep going. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Shoot, the one on the right if they stop. You get a shot, take it if yours stops. Yep. Little pig here, it wasn't the smartest one. It decided to walk out between two deer as we were about to shoot them, so uh, he didn't live very long. Left and right again? Yeah, one's moving. Oh, there's a, I think there's a pig. In between the deer? In between the deer. Yeah, okay. Unless it's a small deer. That's no, a pig. That's no, a pig. Rhino, I'll Where's shoot the pig. Take the pig up that deer on the left, okay? Rhino. Oh, my deer's walking. You can shoot the pig, just shoot it. Yeah? Yep, yeah, my dear's walking.
Okay, backwards. Yeah, down. Two pigs down here in front of me. One's about 100 metres closer than the other one. Plan is, I'm going to snot the first one, hopefully straight between the eyes with a subsonic, and then I'll see if I can get in on the other one without alerting it with too much noise. I love it when a plan works, and that one certainly did. That's the first of this pair of pigs. Starting to rack a few up now. Two nice clean headshots. It's that time of night. You know what? Let's get some dirty bird into us. I had one job to do. What are you doing with your headlight? Flashing away. Oh, She's sorry. making a video here, mate. Making a porn star. Reckon it. I had one job to do all night, and that was shoot us a feral cat. Well, I got it mostly right. I did manage to shoot the feral cat. We've got up here, though. We can't find the bugger. If you do find yourself enjoying this video, do me a favour and hit the thumbs up button on it. Just pause it, hit the thumbs up. It really helps these videos get promoted on the platform. It's a little bit anti-hunting, unfortunately. And that thumb, while it seems like a little thing to you, it definitely helps. Three, two, one. You got him. That's our view out of the front of the Polaris at the moment. It's absolutely shocking in this grass. It's probably eight to 10 feet long. Adding the wind as it all flaps around makes it even more confusing. We've been lost so many times trying to find the track tonight. You go back and you're only like a wheel width off it and you can't see it. It's terrible. That's what we're looking for. That's 145 meters away. Let's go and say hello. Pig out here, it's a bit over 200 metres away. So about 90 metres away. And up near this tree, 300 metres up there, there's another mob of pigs in that grass that you can't see them. There's another animal moving across there. The plan is, I'm going to try and bowl this one over with a subsonic. Hopefully not disturb those animals behind it.
There's our headshot subsonic pig thrashing around. Not quite sure he's dead yet, but he is. Those other pigs are up near that tree, so we'll try and get up there a couple hundred metres. Hopefully they're still hanging around. The wind has absolutely cranked up, it's about 40 to 50 kilometres an hour. It was actually blowing me around on the tripod. We've just picked up another pig across a dam, it's about 200 metres away. It's at that stage of the night that we couldn't be bothered walking over there. That's been another really good shoot. Thanks to my mate for inviting me up to help him on this contract. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with a bell icon on. I'd appreciate it if you'd like to have a look at my Patreon. And I'll see everyone next time.